Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly reading from Monday the 8th of March all the way through to Sunday the 14th of March. So what's the energy going to be around this week ahead? I feel there's a lot of freshness energy coming in, the messages that your dreams are coming true, you know that they may feel out of reach but they are coming. So pay attention to what's going on around you because it's a preview of things to come. You know, the universe is always communicating to you through the, th the signs that you see, the number sequences, the ways that you are shown your truth and about the way you feel, which is real. You know, if you're operating in love and power and gratitude, you're going to have so much more to be thankful and grateful for. So you're being reminded of that this week. So I'm going to use four powerful decks of cards. We're going to use the Love Journey Oracle by Bridget Rowe, the Arcanum Tarot, the Earth Magic Oracle, and the Twin Flame Journey by Mystic Moon. So we're going to do a general reading for everyone and a reading for Twin Flames. So this is going to give you an insight in what's to come in all areas of your life for the week ahead. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So let's do this then. Thank you, angels. So what do we need to know for everyone, please, for this week ahead? What do we need to know for everyone? Thank you. And for twin flames, what do we need to know for twin flames, please, for this week ahead? Thank you. Thank you. What do we need to know, please, angels, for everyone? That's the card there. Thank you. And for the twin flames, what do we need to know, please, for twin flames for the week ahead? Thank you. Thank you. What do we need to know, please, angels, for everyone for the week ahead? Wow, there's the card. And what do we need to know for twin flames? What do we need to know for twin flames? Thank you. So this is the card here for everyone. And what's going on in love and the connections that we're having with ourselves, our guides, our loved ones, for everyone? What's the journey? Well, there we go. And what's going on, please, angels, for twin flames? There we go. Okay. So I feel a lot of like breathlessness coming in, you know, like anticipation, you know, something's coming. You just may not know what. So this is the energy for twins. This is the energy for everyone. So let's do this then. So the general energy is look at this. We've got vision quest and this is desert. So a vision quest is having a vision of what you want. So the angels are saying to you very clearly here, get focused on what you want this week. It's a very good week to set intention, to have a vision, to ask for what you want and it will flow in. You know, even if it feels like there's a desert there, which means things may feel stuck, stagnant, you know, a bit airy as well. Maybe you need to get some air because in deserts we can feel hot and maybe you're feeling the heat in your life. Maybe something's getting to you. You may feel pressured or there may be some pressure around you. Take a moment to breathe and have a vision of what you want. They're saying it's for your quest and a quest is a journey. So you're on a journey. So everything you're going through in your life is a journey. It's a journey of growth and learning. It's a journey of understanding and appreciating who you are, why you're here and what's to come. So have a vision of what you want and the desert will clear. And they're giving me the song, you know, like a desert um, misses the rain or you may be missing someone. You know, you may be really feeling that energy. So in love, let's look at the love energy. We've got, I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. So it feels like... It's about having that vision this week of what you want and you may be busy doing other things. So, you know, you may be busy with things, getting things done. And this is the month of action. And it's also a month of creativity and a month of working on self, you know, to find things, to move towards what you want. So this week you may find that you're busy, you want to do you. Okay, you need some time alone or you need some time away. And this, you're saying, please try and understand. So you may be communicating this to someone in your life. Okay, I just need to do something else right now. Please try and understand. Or maybe this is what your person's saying to you. But I feel this is definitely about you having a vision of what you want and taking action steps towards it, that you're doing something else. It's also a big sign of releasing what needs to go that you need to do something else right now. So karmic endings coming in, 
releasing things that need to go, saying to people in your life, I need to do something else right now, I'm sorry, okay, please try and understand, my life is changing, I am evolving, I am growing, so decisions to work on self, we've also got I feel damaged like I just can't do this, so again, what I'm feeling here, and this is the energy for everyone, remember, obviously, if you're a twin flame, this will really resonate with you, this is about karmic endings, so I feel there's a big sign here that you've got a vision of what you want. Now that could be in love, it could be in career, it could be at home, something you're manifesting. And because you're asking for it, the universe is creating it. So you're feeling now the energy of action. So you know that you need to be doing something else. You know that you need to make a change, that this doesn't feel right to you. So if you want to change your job, You'd, you'd feel damaged if it doesn't feel right to you. You know you need to be doing something else. So you're making that decision to change your life. So this is a big sign of changes, not only in love, but also in career work, you know, goals, personal journey. And I need more time to figure things out. So maybe this week is the week where you're going within to figure things out or someone in your life needs time to figure this out, how the changes can happen because there's manifesting going on. So you may be feeling like you need alone time this week or your person needs some alone time and you know, you're being guided to go within. So the desert energy is maybe the fact that you're missing them but things are being worked out. My love will rise through coldest of time. So if it feels cold this week, you know, remember you've got the desert energy, which is very hot as well, very muggy, but it can also feel cold. You know, even if you're in the hottest place or you're surrounded by people, if you're not where you want to be, it feels cold. Okay? It doesn't feel very nice because you know something isn't right. So this is saying to you, love will rise no matter what you know, your love will conquer all and things will happen. So you'll get through whatever is coming. So this may be a challenging week for some, but if you see it the right way with the eyes of love, with positivity, understanding that you're growing through all of this, it will bring in power. And we've got perfect partner, two of a kind, soulmates, twin flame. So this is a big sign that, you know, you're working together as a team to get things done. This is a big sign of what's to come, union, happiness and love. It's a big sign about relationships deepening, growing, the air being cleared, cleared, power coming in. So let go of anything that needs to go and trust that things are being healed, resurrected and the journey is moving where it's meant to be. So the wheel is about the wheel of fortune, fate and destiny, things turning in your favour. So this is a great message here because it's saying to you, my love will rise through the coldest of times. So any coolness this week, if there's any indifference, any quiet times or needing to go within, your love will conquer all things. You just need some time right now to figure things out, to have a vision because fate and destiny are now moving everything forward to bring your partner to you, the perfect partner for you, your twin flame, a soulmate for you. Okay, so this is saying you need to do something else right now to heal the past, to resurrect, and you're healing any damage that's being done. So a lot of healing energy flowing in for this week ahead. For twin flames then, we've got our connection still affects me. So things affect the both of you. The connection affects you both in so many different ways. And I'm not the same person that you remember. So a great sign that you've both been healing and doing the work that you're not the person that you were, you're both more spiritually mature now, and that there's a new beginning coming in, so a great message, so, you know, for everyone, it's about karmic endings, healing the past, spending some time this week to figure things out, and there's, because of all of that, there's a new beginning coming in here, and you have to let go and go with the flow, so the ocean is the ebb and flow, it's about mastering the emotions in your life and realizing this is perfect and love. You know, the two of cups is about the partnership. It's about letting go. So the angels are very clearly showing you here. There's a new beginning coming in this week that will lead to love. So whatever needs working out, whatever needs to happen, let it happen. Go with the flow, let go and trust in the love. Your, he says, you're, may wish, you're my wish come true. 
Okay, but they're telling me intuitively my wishes will come true. So your person is saying you're my wish come true. I've been dreaming about you. This is again a big sign from Archangel Orion that your dreams are coming true because this is like the Aladdin's lamp spewing out that, that wish. So it's moving towards you. So I feel this is also the energy of action. And you're the light in my life. You are infinite. So it's reminding you that you are infinite beings. You know, this is the infinity sign, yin and yang, opposite polarity. So this is showing you everything's meant to be. So it doesn't matter what differences seem to be in your life this week. It doesn't matter what challenges are going on. That it's all happening for healing. It's all happening for growth because you're truly meant to be. And the thing I love about this is, you know, you've got the two of cups and you've got those swans there, perfect partner, twin flames it's showing you it's fate it's destiny you know it's all happening now a new beginning is coming in because you are infinite beings and your wishes are coming true but you must let go go with the ebb and flow trust the journey and keep the faith because you're both different people right now you're both growing up spiritually and you're both finding your way i hope that helps have a great day sending you so much love have a great week ahead and i'll see you soon